A very warm welcome to our Advent Carol Service. Here on the font, we have our lovely Advent wreath, which Cathy made for us. The first candle was lit this morning, and on each of the following three Sundays in Advent, we will light another candle on our wreath. The fifth candle, the one in the centre, we will light on Christmas Day to celebrate the arrival of the Christ child. Advent marks the beginning of the church year and it's a time of preparation for the celebration of the coming of Christ into the world. In Advent, we look backwards as well as looking forwards as we remember the story, our story, within God's great big story. Each week, we light a candle to remember our journey with God. As we light our first candle, which you can see lit there at the front, we look backwards um, as we remember the lives of the patriarchs of our faith. Abraham heard God's call and set out to find the promised land. We consider what it meant for him and also for us to begin new journeys or to live in in-between times. Our second candle, here we are, helps us to remember the lives of the prophets who announced the coming of the Lord. They were risk takers and whose words and actions shook people up. Our third candle helps us to remember John the Baptist. Our focus now starts to point forwards to the coming of Jesus, who will offer all of us new beginnings. Our fourth candle um, helps us to remember Mary. And like Mary, we too ponder on how we hear and how we react to the voice of God, who also calls us. How do we also birth new life and new beginnings? Throughout Advent, we journey with God and we reflect on all manner of endings and beginnings, both biblically and also in our everyday lives, and also what happens in the in-between spaces as well. So let's begin our service. Beloved in Christ, as we await the great festival of Christmas, let us prepare ourselves so that we may be shown its true meaning. Let us hear in readings from the Holy Scripture how the prophets of Israel foretold that God would visit and redeem his waiting people. Let us rejoice in our carols and hymns that the good promise of God is being mightily fulfilled. Let us celebrate the promise that our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, will bring all people and all things into the glory of God's eternal kingdom. But first, let us pray for the world which God so loves, for those who have not heard the good news of God or who do not believe it, for those who walk in darkness and the shadow of death, and for the church in this place and everywhere, that it may be freed from all evil and fear, and may in pure joy lift up the light of the love of God. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer to God in the words which Christ himself taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. Isaiah proclaims good news to a people in exile. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, 
the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand for ever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. John the Baptist prepares the way, as it is written in the prophets. Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptised of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey, and preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I indeed have baptised you with water, but he shall baptise you with the Holy Ghost. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised 
of John in Jordan. And straightway, coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed Virgin Mary conceives a child. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost and she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath holpen his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul declares the loving purposes of God. If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything in the, to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that he is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, nor distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers nor things present, nor things to come, nor height nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
O God, who makest us glad with the yearly expectation of thy coming, grant that we, who with joy receive thy only begotten Son as our, as our Redeemer, may without fear behold him when he shall come to be our judge, even thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render no one evil with evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>